Now, you all probably know what ABD modded games are, and if you somehow don't know, here, I'm going to refresh your mind a little bit. An ABD modded game is basically a bizarre day, an old version, taken, and then edited just a teeny weeny little bit to make a completely new game, and somehow probably make thousands of Robux because of premium payouts, but that's not the topic here. Um... An ABD modded game, these games get thousands, hunt, like, these games can get upwards of, like, at one point, I believe, um, a game called A Modded Adventure had around 13,000 or something like that around players, but, um, these games, I don't think they deserve the players they get, and, um, I'm gonna tell you why in a little bit, but I just wanna let you guys know really quickly, this is indeed my opinion, I know it may be unbelievable, Devin having an opinion, but no, it's my opinion, if you disagree with me, that's completely fine, you're allowed to have your own opinion, uh, maybe I'll change your mind in this video, who knows, feel free to watch the end if you want, uh, leave a smelly dislike if you already hate my guts for hating modded games, but, uh, yeah, I said hating modded games, you heard me, but, uh, yeah, let's get into my, uh, first point. Now, I don't know if this is just me, but the uh, first thing I want to talk about is how repetitive modded games are. You could join any modded game, right? Like, for example, I'm going to look at a Trello real quick. Give me like two seconds. I'm on the real Trello now. Uh, a lot of these stands are just variants of like Star, Platinum, The World, King Crimson, uh, GR. And they're all just that. They're just a bunch of variations they're incredibly repetitive you can find the exact same stands in all the exact same modded games for example oni is in almost every single a bizarre day modded game ever and now you'd be like oh well abd modded a bizarre day modded is so much fun oh my god look at all the stands they have you could say that about literally any modded game you can play uh a menacing adventure they have like fat they have hundreds of stands not actually you know what i mean but they're all, they, all the stands have the same moves, except they're a little bit better. Like, Jodora's Star Platinum is literally just Star Platinum, but it's OP, and it has, like, four moves, okay? That's all it does. And then, you could be getting the ex same exact entertainment from the actual game, have good moves. I mean, ABD doesn't, alright, I have problems with ABD too, maybe this will be, it'll be a different up, uh, video, I don't know. But different views, right? So they have a bunch of, they have Hero Brian. All these stands are just the same. It doesn't really, I don't think, I think every single modded game has at least one of the same stand in it. Like no modded game is completely unique in my opinion, because they're all basically the same. They're all completely repetitive. You play one, uh, they you farm for an item for eight hours. Like, uh, let's see, a camera. In, yeah, a camera in A Bizarre Day Modded spawns every 45 minutes with a 1 in 8 chance, a 1 in 80 chance. That's hours of farming just to get one camera. And I know why they do this. They do this to keep their player base. So the next point is uh, disrespect towards A Bizarre Day. Now, if you guys somehow have been, you know, if you're, you've been playing abd and you've been living under a rock abd d does not want these games up right they want to take all these games down they've taken down multiple for example uh at some point a modded a bizarre day modded another bizarre day modded a bunch a uh, bizarre spec day a bunch of these games have been taken down but seemingly out of nowhere all of these games have come back up they're all coming up like for, i know some of these games are changing their models but it's ridiculous how ABD has let these games be up for so long with no repercussions. So my second to last point is how these games have little to no effort in them. And you guys may be saying, oh, they make so many new cool items and mo models and stuff. But if you look at some of these models, like a hell arrow in ABD modded is literally just the recolor of an arrow. True Star Platinum is basically the exact same stand. <laughs> Those are lit. It's you know how easy it would be to make a model like that. It would if you just took an ABD model, changed the color a little bit, and put it in a game. Boom! New modded game out. M thousands of players. Whoa! Moves do thousands of damage. That's pretty cool. Pretty epic. Uh, some of the models look great, but then like there's still it doesn't. It takes little to no effort to make a modded game. I could interview. 
any, and I mean any person who's made a modded game, they'd probably say how easy it is. There's even YouTube videos you can find on how to make modded games. It's pretty crazy. But uh, on to my last point. Um, most of these games, this is just my opinion. Again, you guys could love these games. I think these games are boring, hella boring. They're just grind fed. It's, it's like, I kind of have been getting bored of ABD as well. So ABD kind of suffers from this. These games are just grind fests. You just look for, I'm just going to say some item rarities. Hell arrow. Every 30 minutes, one in 10 chance. Again, camera. Every uh, 45 minutes, one in 80 chance. Ornstein Spear. One every hour, one in 25 chance. Aja Mask. Every hour, one in 15 chance. True Requiem Arrow. Every hour, one in 15 chance. All of these games have you farm for rare stands that are basically just ABD. Like, this exact same stand, but they do more damage. I don't understand how you can be entertained by that. And then... Uh, for, there's, like, there's the only game that came from a modded game that is actually pretty, uh, decent from what I've heard of is A Universal Time, because AUT actually is branching out, they have cool models, they're making their own stands, I think that's great, I haven't played it, so I really can't back this up, but I think it's great that there's a game like that out there, uh, that's actually changing it up, and I understand, like, A Bizarre Day Modded and A Modded Adventure are doing the same thing, but a lot of other games that you guys play. Like, you could search up ABD right now. A Bizarre Day. A Bizarre Day modded. Jotaro Star Platinum, whatever. 25 players, which isn't that much, but take in mind. Seals Bizarre Adventure, 32 players. A Dumb Day, 143 players. There were some of these games, like, for example, this A Summer Day had, like, a thousand players constantly. And it was, it was nothing. It was, it was awful. Like, uh, Sakura Stand was bad. Um... Well, there's not that many left, but there's still, like, all these modded games, they shouldn't have the player base they have. And if you guys like these games, please tell me why in the comments, because I don't see the appeal anymore. I used to love these games, but then I realized these games are kind of disrespectful to AVD, and they shouldn't really have the player base they have. They're, like, an astonishing day. 233 players. It's just... Some of these games, they really don't deserve the player base. They really don't put much effort into games. The only effort... They put in games. Let's just, let's rerun. These games are repetitive. They're all the same. They're disrespectful towards ABD. They put little to no effort in them. And what I mean by that is the only thing you really need to do in an ABZ, ABZR Day modded game is make new models and new, new like items. All you need to do is make new models. You can use the exact same scripts over and over again and no one will get bored of it. And then they're all boring. You could be playing these games for hours just for trying to find a one item and then once you get that stand you play for an hour and you're like oh this is boring time to get rid of it it's just i don't get it man but if you guys if you maybe if i have changed your opinion let me know in the comments below that'd be pretty epic um if you want me to make videos on any other subjects like a bizarre day uh other games t uh, give me you know give you guys reviews on other games let me know in the comments as well uh i'll see you guys later peace